So, Lynn, you told us that Juliet is... Insulin resistant. In insulin resistant. Okay, so here's what we get you guys do. Um, you're going to test Juliet the horse again while thinking about her ability to handle sugar or things like that. And then just see what happens when you test her. Just think of it in generic terms yeah. or that we know she has a problem. Well, just think about her eating sugar or gluten. Oh, okay. And, and that while you're and think about that while you do the muscle test. Well, you're not asking a question. You're just no. thinking about her. Thinking eating. about it. Yeah, just strong about or weak? Right. Okay. Yeah. Pretty weak. Very weak. Pretty weak. Okay. That, yeah. It was, it was like a hesitation, but it went about her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, where's the feed that is? The, the pink one's her. Her insulin. And the green one is. And the green one is the not for her. No. Okay. Could, Could she hold it in hand? her hand? Yeah. Now, what am I thinking about? This right. thing You're I was thinking, thinking the same this. thing you were thinking before okay. about her ability to eat, eat sugar. Yeah. Okay. Strong. Real strong. Real strong. Oh, well, that's kind of curious. And then, and this is her feet. Okay. So throw that stuff away. Juliet said, what are you doing? This is hers. And now you ask the same question again. Oh, that was easy. She was like, there was nothing there. Uh -huh. So that's, that's kind of the opposite of what we were expecting. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And I've been curious if it was the right diagnosis. Oh, so you've been curious if it was the right diagnosis? How about you test, Larry, to make sure? Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah, that I just assumed, yeah, since right. you told us it was, <laughs> that it was, that, that was the story, that it was correct. That it, it, she, it was told to me before I bought her that she was insulin resistant. Um, but I, I've been concerned about the um, accuracy of the diagnosis because I'm not sure who did it, the vet who did it, or it's just a Of the way that Did um, she been reading the internet? <laughs> 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 because, oh, because, well, yeah, based on her hair and her weight and you know and and oh, um, that on her neck. So isn't that, that's kind of curious because when you told me that she was insulin resistant, I just assumed that that was a sort of quote unquote fact. Right, 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 right. Should I have told you otherwise? No, that's, that's perfectly fine. So this is a cool kind of thing about this. So sometimes you discover a piece of information that wasn't what you were looking, what you were expecting. So, you know, so this is a pretty inexpensive way to start looking into things and trying to figure stuff out. Because if you had to have a vet do 50 tests, my guess is that money. could be expensive. Well, and it also makes me really, really want to have the vet out here. I mean, I've been wanting to have the vet checker, but it really, okay. really makes me want the vet checker. Okay. You know, so yeah, so it is a good thing. What they were saying. Yes. Okay. So now you have another piece of information that you can compare to. So I find this kind of interesting, and I don't, you know, have a, uh, a definitive answer, but mm -hmm. it'll be sure. very interesting to hear what the vet has to say yeah. when you get an answer. Yeah. Okay. So now think about that issue of the damage, and, and do we have any of those things on hand? safer than the vegetable and corn. But that's one of the reasons I wanted her test is available by the vet because you got the dander but I didn't want to give her the oil because of the insulin resistance. Yeah. But if you want to spend lots of money, there's lots of great supplements out there. <laughs> yeah, but so this the great thing about this is it can help you save money on supplements you don't need. Exactly. True. So, so maybe you can use three So test her again for and think about the dander. Okay, now, put it here. Got it. And now test again. Oh, 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Tight, firm. Good. That's okay. amazing. So that's, that, that's so cool. So that's the an indication is that she needs that. That would help her body. Well, right? we wouldn't say need. Okay. Because I'm not a vet. Right, right, right. Okay? right. But so using good language, <laughs> I would say this appears energetically to upgrade her system. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Joe, it is. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Would you like to eat some omega threes? Yeah. Yeah. So now, what was the other? What's the I brought a, a joint supplement? A, a joint supplement? Okay. Yeah. Does she have any joint issues? Uh, you know, I don't know, but it, just because she's an older horse. Yeah, yeah. She's an old horse. So here's what you could do. Again, you can test Stephanie. You could just think about, you know, her joints. Just sort of hold the the tension of like how you know her how are her joints doing. Yeah, I mean, there's. I, she, I could push her down, but something you'd expect in a horse. Day. It wasn't nearly as tight as when we held the omega three. So now her. let's try again. Yeah. So to, to do the exact same intention, the same question, and we'll just put this in her field. Come on. Come on. Let's see what happens. Say about the same. About the same. So then we would say, oh, this doesn't seem to make. A now, maybe something else would make a big difference, but this doesn't seem to change. Not like the omegas, yeah, yeah that just yeah. was, Steph's arm was like, like the first time I tested you on yeah, you. Yeah, that was, was like, really that was like yeah. rock hard. Specific way. That's very cool. Very cool? Oh yeah, yeah, because I thought she needed omega-3s and I really wondered about this too. Okay. Yeah. Right. So anybody have any questions or thoughts about what we just did? Love it. So let me just ask you with a show of hands, how many of you feel like you could go home and do with your horse what we just did here with Juliet? How many people are not sure? Maybe I could, maybe I could. Okay, how many people don't know how to raise your hand? <laughs> I think actually everybody raised your hand for the Wait, first time. I one. can do that. But, yeah. <laughs> so, so this is confusing and complicated. And uh, please feel free to ask more questions. Uh, if you go home tomorrow or next week and you're not sure about something, call me up or email me. I'll be happy to coach you. And because uh, you know, we want to be able to go out in the world and, uh, and help our horses.